Hi, my name is George, and we are going to paint the background for my Easter egg folk art rock painting. I'm going to be using my new found friends, the Ink Tense pencils. They act as um, a color pencil, but when you wet it, um, they become permanent so that you don't have to worry about um, the paint or the ink smudging. Now, when you use ink tents, you really don't need a lot. Um, for example, if you're using them in a coloring book, you don't need to apply a lot of pressure. Along a, a little bit of ink tents go the long way. So I'm using um, a paint pen, but you can use um, a regular paint um, brush like you would for um, a watercolor. So I had a stroke in the tail end of um, last year, so I apologize, but uh, I apologize for the stuttering that I have going on here. And if you're liking the video, um, I normally I do a video on rock painting every week. I ideally want to do at least two, but this week I had a lot of appointments, um, therapies for speech, um, occupational therapy, and physical therapy. So I'm a little bit off on my schedule. But if you want to see more of my video or videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you will be notified when I do another video. So what I'm doing here um, is applying a little bit of my mid-tone for the green. I like to use mid-tone and dark when I am applying paint. I am incorporating the background wash of uh, the uh, initial wash. So um, I want to blend that in with the ink tints that I'm using now. When I do a folk art house, I like to imagine that it's part of my folk art world where the various non-folk art uh, rock paintings incorporate into the house. For example, um, I did a series of 
hearts and those hearts are part of the interior of the heart folk art house. I hope that makes sense. When you, for my thinking, when you create um, an environment on a rock painting, you're essentially creating a little bit of your own world. So this one, the Easter egg folk art house is obviously for Easter, but because I like Easter eggs in general, I want to have the inhabitants of my Easter egg house um, wearing Easter egg kind of pastel clothes. Here I'm using a little bit of darker green for the trees and I'll, and I'll use this for both the background trees and the middle ground trees. If you're liking this video, if you can hit the like button and share it with a friend or family that you th think would enjoy it, that will be great because YouTube will say, oh, people will like this. Let's share it with more people. So, thank you. I wanted to have the background of the stone um, that included the intense wash be included in the background. So I did a little bit of intense pencils. Uh, again, you don't need a lot because it travels very easily. But I wanted to um, include the background, um, the initial background into the various kinds of elements like the clouds. I wanted to include more negative st space clouds and I wanted to um, have the bushes and trees um, included with the back the in, initial background uh, wash. So again, I like to use at least two colors um, or sh shades of um, a, a hue. In this case, it's green. So you want to have um, a light and a mid-tone, that way you have more variety. So I also want to say that the amount of colors that you introduce for your rock painting, you have um, an op uh, option to either go all in 
or more of a subdued and tied in uh, approach. The tied in approach is to limit the amount of colors that you are going to use and also combining the colors with each other. So, for example, I had the brown in the um, field next to the road that was basically a brown. And then I included the green that I used for the bush as um, an accent color to reinforce one, the background of the um, area that I'm using now without introducing another color. I hope, again, I hope that makes sense. Now, I don't like to think of anything that you do as a mistake. However, the road and that I'm in, um, inking in now is a little too dark at the base of the house. What I would have done had I been thinking um, was to have the darkness at the base of the house have that actually at the base of the road because generally speaking things that are closer to you um, they're more the colors are more true to the thing the further they are away have um, more of a muted color. So, for example, the trees, the further trees are light, lighter, and the closer trees are darker. Here I'm using a little bit of finger to smudge out the paint. And of course, I like gold, so I'm going to add a little bit here and there on the, <clears throat> on the egg. I have a tendency to work um, over a spot that doesn't need work. So you can obviously um, leave out the cold if, if you want to. And of course, you have to outline or reinforce the egg because you go over or I go over lines so um, I want to redefine stuff and after I sign the um, egg I'll revisit parts that I forgot to do in this segment so, hold on 
until the end. So what I do is when I'm drawing in, I like to start at the top and pull the pen towards me because if you do the other way, you have a chance of messing up. So pull, not push. I'm like the, I'm liking the look of the egg house, uh, the Easter egg house with the black lines reintroduced because it gives it more dimension. Now, I recently started a buy me a coffee it's a kind of way that um people who like my videos can support me i'm trying to save up enough money to buy me a um, new phone but um says as things are going with me the um the saving is a little bit more difficult so um there is a link in the description if you want to uh donate and um it would be a lot of help but you're watching the video is payment and enough so you if you can afford it don't worry so i what i wasn't sure about the idea of all the ink like the around the circles but unfortunately or unfortunately um what's done is done if you want, don't want to include it in yours don't worry about it you don't have to Okay, I'm signing my artwork and shortly I'm going to um, go over the clouds and the chimney. I always find something more that I need to do um it's kind of like i never really went to finish a stone because you can always do more <laughs> 